Hey, uh, welcome to Sky Review Channel again. Today I'm going to be reviewing Buckle 9, the album Sustain. Okay, it's the first Buckle 9 album in something like seven years or something like that. Came out a year and a half ago, two years ago, something like that. So it's pretty new, new enough for me to review it anyway. Um, but you know, it's this is a, an important album in the sense that. Well, Back on Nine were a huge third wave band and they were very successful, very popular and they made some great records you know, in the 90s and they're back which is a brilliant, it's a really good thing and I think everyone in the Sky community is glad to have them back. Also with the rumours of um, the Mighty Mighty Boston's also coming back into the fray, it's, you know, I'm waiting for that, it's going to be great. <laughs> um, but you know, to the after the review itself. Um, this record is definitely a com you know, completely different to what they've been doing before. It's got a darker vibe to it, it's not as happy. You know, there isn't, you won't find a version of My Town in here or uh, Water in My Head or whatever. You know, what you will find in here is some great kind of like two tone type songs in here. Mixed in some great like punk songs, like ska punk songs, but more like a rough, you know, ska punk song, you know. It's more aggressive than it, than it has been in the past. That stuff well, you know, was always quite poppy, but now it's quite aggressive. Got some political aspects in it. It's got like some stuff that sounds like dealing with depression and stuff. Um, I like the song "I'm Not Dead." And that's the single of that. The video of it is available on YouTube. You can watch it. It's on Blank TV, so check that out. "I'm Not Dead." They all pretty much look exactly the same. I mean, the singer is looking a bit fatter than he used to be, but yeah, they look the same pretty much. Um, I like Cook Me Into the Bowl, that's a good little song. Uh, Screaming from the Suburbs is good. Knocking Down the Door is quite good as well. There's a lot of slower songs in here, like slow kind of scan numbers. It's quite different, it's a totally different pace to what they you know usually do or what they used to do. But yeah, you know, it's a very good album. Um, the horn section is still intact. Although, you, uh, from my liking, there isn't, isn't as much horns as I would have liked. And I would have, you know, I, I was kind of hoping for a big return to form and then come back with what they do and what we know and love about them and back with something that's like, you know, happy and yeah, and jump around and skank like crazy animal. But, you don't get that, but you do get a really good album. You do get something different, and they're not sticking to the formula. They're, um, they're actually, you know, progressing as a band. And, you know, they are really a tight unit on the album. It's, you know, the, the production's pretty good as well. Um, it's on Asian Man Records. Uh, as you know, Asian Man Records is uh, set up by uh, his name. Um, Mike Park, Mike Bruce Lee Park, or whatever his name is, and he's the he was the saxophonist and singer in um, Skank and Pickle. <laughs> so yeah, it's Asian Man Records. Um, it's a really good label, and because it's on Asian Man Records, you can find this in the shops here in the UK and also in America, and shouldn't be shouldn't be hard to find. I recommend picking it up because it's well worth your time picking this up. It's a good album. Okay. It's Buckle 9, Sustain, Age of Man Records, the 155th song on Age of Man Records, released in 97, uh, 97, 2007 or 2008, I'm not quite sure, but it's new wish. Definitely need to pick it up, also check out the video on Black TV, but I'm not dead. And, yeah, great. Although I would give this a 4.5 out of 5, it I uh, I directed half a point because it doesn't give you what you want. But what it does do is it forces you to listen. Um, it shows their progression and doing something new and hats off them for doing that because you know, it's a great thing. It's, they would be very easy for them on to stick to a formula. They haven't done that. They try to do something different. So yeah, uh, and it's worked out for them. I, I think. Uh, the, of course, there's not two week songs on here. But, you know, there's only twelve songs. It's quite streamlined. So yeah, buy this album, it's great, especially if you like your third wave scar, this is one to pick up, definitely.
Nine. Sustain. Okay. I'm in Chris. It's been the Sky Review Channel. Review of Back the Nine. Sustain. Thank you for watching. Please, um, please subscribe, comment, and rate. Um, be great to know what you guys think. I do apologise if this is out of sync or if it's if it cuts out uh, early or whatever. I can't control that. It's just been happening uh, recently. But thanks ever so much for watching and uh, subscribe and if you can, thanks.